Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a unboxing video for you today. And this is going to be a product that I ordered off of eBay. And as I open it, I'll kind of um, give you my thought process behind why I ordered it and the purpose that it's going to serve for me. So if you're interested in seeing what's in this box, just stay tuned. Okay, so like I said, I did order this off of eBay and um, it did come from Japan. So it does have all of the, um, the different um, international shipping documents on here. And so I'm going to take that off and open it. I mean, I got this yesterday. Today is Sunday. This came in Saturday. And usually something like this I would just tear right into. But I thought, oh, I'm going to wait and do a video. And of course, then today being Sunday, anything that could possibly go wrong has gone wrong, wrong this morning. So now here it is in the afternoon. And I'm finally getting to open up my package. Finally. So, um, Anyway, oh, and talking about the afternoon, the weather, I hope everyone is safe and sound wherever they are at. I know some of you guys are getting some beautiful snow, and I'm jealous. I wish we were getting snow. Instead, we got um, ice, some sleet yesterday, mostly drizzled, freezing sleet yesterday, and um, not enough for most people to cause any problems but here in Oklahoma because we don't hardly ever get anything like this it pretty much caused all kinds of havoc and my little mother-in-law was letting her dog out yesterday evening and fell on her steps down her steps and broke her ankle and this this is the same one that um, back in September had the car wreck um, so we spent most of the evening yesterday at the emergency room with her. So she's going to have to go see an orthopedic surgeon to have her ankle operated on. They went ahead and just put a temporary cast on it. And she's supposed to come tomorrow and get an appointment. Orthopedic surgeon. So tell you what. So anyway, this product was wrapped up like this. Some nice bubble wrap. And then again, it was in some more type of tissue or dust bag. Oh, it's one of those really thin paper dust bags. I don't know why people do that. Yeah, it looks like a um, dryer sheet. <laughs> that thin of a material. I can't even get it open. Okay, so... This, my friends, is my very, very first Gucci piece. So, yes, it is from Gucci. The Gucci box. Open it. Okay, so we have a Gucci, a little Gucci dust bag right there. I guess I should put it over here, huh? I might be able to see it better. <clears throat> hey, what do y'all think about my little light thing here? You can put different... Um, messages on here and so of course I had to put subscribe and um, it's hard to see because the letters are like a really really um, soft pink and this box here is a pink and it came with all these different letters and symbols so you can make different um, sayings on here I got this at TJ Maxx for like $13 so oh look there's my my Diet Coke making an appearance look in my Diet Coke glass <laughs> So anyway, all right, back to the unboxing. Okay, well, here in the bottom of the box is a... Okay. I'm going to assume, because uh, most of it is in um, a language I don't read, but I'm going to assume this is the authenticity card where they've had it um, authenticated. I don't know because it's all in language like I said I can't read so that was what was in the box so now let's open oh, it's so pretty 
Okay, so here she is. Um, now I'm not familiar with Gucci and what things are called, you know, what this leather is called, what the color is called, but it is a red. And here on the front, it has the gold um, lettering that says Gigi, that stands for um, Gucci. And it has a little snap opening and it is, let me get it right, a key case for keys. Okay, so that flips open. So that's a little different than the Louis Vuitton. The Louis Vuitton, this is, um, a, it's solid so that you can actually put cards in behind here. This one you're not going to be able to do that, which is fine because I don't hardly ever do that with my other one. Oh, but it has, it has a spot right here on the side. Okay where you could put like your driver's license or your card, uh, maybe a little bit of cash if you're just running into the store. But anyway, it has the six key holders here and then this middle one is a round one, which I was very interested in that. And so, let me give you the story on why I, why I ordered this piece and it looks really good. I mean, it did say in the description that it was had only been used a few times. Um, they did not have this on the Gucci website. So, okay. So let me tell you why I was wanting to get um, a new key case. Let me, I know I brought my purse. Okay. In my purse, I do have a, <clears throat> a, um, Louis Vuitton one right here, which looks like this here. I bought it pre-loved, and when I purchased it, I didn't know if I would really like a key case like this. So I bought it on the pre-loved market, and um, you can kind of see it's a little misshapen because um, I have used it for the last couple of years. Every single day this has been with me. I put it in my back pocket, um, I put it in my purse, and it opens up and when I purchased it, it was missing one of these little links, which was fine because I don't even have the links that are there already um, full. This one did have, it was kind of funny because I ordered it pre-loved and it already had, had some initials on it, but it just so happened that those are my initials, JR, so I was okay with that. But anyway, the reason why I wanted to replace this guy, um, there are several reasons. But the main one being is when it is in my purse, because if you look inside my purse, you're gonna see a lot of brown. Um, Cause I have a lot of Louis Vuitton pieces in here and they all look the same. So I have, you know, these, and I have my Demier bin. Um, I have my agenda and I also have an, an eyeglass case that is all in this dark brown monogram. I also have my little pocket organizer and um, a little um, coach pouch that is in the dark brown. So you see, you see where I'm going with this, right? So when looking in my bag, I can hardly ever find my keys. Doesn't matter. I try to put them in one. I have a little pocket, or not a pocket, but a purse organizer in here. I try to put them in one of the little side pockets so I know where they're where they're at all times. But you know how it is when you are in a hurry, you take your keys out and you just throw them in your bag. And then when you go out of the store to find them, you can't find them. And I'm digging around trying to find them. I have to take everything out to try and find that. So I had decided that I wanted to get a new one, a new um, key case. And I was going to get the um, the Demier Aben. I was going to get it in this print here. But then I thought, you know, I'm going to have the same issue with it being where I can't find it. Um, so then I got to thinking, well, what if I try to find one in the Epi Leather, which is what this purse right here is in, is in this Epi Leather in um, red. So I been, was looking on eBay. Um, because you can't buy one new. I don't know if, uh, if Louis Vuitton doesn't 
make it anymore but the only key ones that you can find are like in the the monogram and the demi or bin and they're usually sold out so i started looking on the pre-loved market and i thought i wanted something in red so it would be a pop of color that i would be easy for me to locate and then i came across this and i thought oh, i really like that because um, one it's red two it's leather Three, it was in excellent condition. And four, it has this little round ring on here, which is designed to fit a key that is big like this. See, this does not fit on one of the hooks of the Louis Vuitton um, key ring. I have to um, loop it on the, this key ring here. So it doesn't actually go on this because it's too thick. Whereas this one, I think it will fit on there. It should. I think that's why it's designed that way is for the thicker keys that you may possibly have. And then the last reason and probably one of the main reasons why I bought it is for the logo here. Even though this is um, technically the Gucci logo, my grandchildren call me Gigi. And so this is... Um, says GG. I wanted it also where the G's, the two G's were going the same way because a lot of times they face each other, but I wanted it to say GG. <laughs> so I got that. So let's do a little comparison um, size wise. Um, it's definitely smaller than the Louis Vuitton. It's not as wide and it's not as tall. So that is is a little bit of a disappointment. I didn't realize that there was going to be that much of a size difference, but it is definitely smaller. So I don't know. I think it'll work out okay though. So I'm going to try and put my um, key, my car key in this, on this little one hook. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Is that going to work? It would help if I could see too. I can't see anything. Hey, wait, I've got my glasses right here. <clears throat> Go Wednesday to get my eyes re-examined. I know my, my prescription on my eyeglasses needs to be changed because I have, um, I have bifocals, but I have the no lines and the, the main part I'm getting to where I can't see out of it. So I mainly just wear them now for up close work with the bifocal, but the other part, everything is a little fuzzy. So I know I need that changed. Okay, that did go on there. So that's gonna definitely go directly onto the hook. So I will be able to get rid of this little hook off of there. So that is nice, I like that. Um, it's gonna be the same way that the um, the Louis Vuitton one is where my key is going to it's going to stick out it does it has so probably what I will do just like I've done with the other one is I'm just going to leave that hang out because I don't want to get this all misshapen like this one is this one's pretty you can tell from that side <laughs> see how it's like and I've it doesn't stay down which is pretty much. So I am going to put my key, my house key on there now. See how easy this is to do. <clears throat> yeah, this is really nice. I really like this. And to be honest with you, this is probably the only two keys that I really need on here is my house key and my car key because these other two keys that are on here, I don't even know what those go to. I think one of them is probably to my son's house, I bet. Oh, I can't get it on. I can't get it on. Come on now. Cooperate with me now. Ooh, these are these little rings are like really stiff. 
which is good. But jeez, I'm going to scratch it all up getting my key on there. What the heck? That other one went on easy. Oops. This one is holy Toledo. Okay, they are definitely, it's definitely not <laughs> user friendly. Oh my god. Definitely would want to, if you get it and you put your keys on there, you definitely want to put it in the spot that you want it on the first time. Because if you don't, oh my stars, I may have to have my husband do this because I can't get it on there. Those little things are tight. Oh, man. My car key went on really easy, and usually that's the one that's the hardest to get on anything. Oh, there we go. Finally. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Got it. So that's my house key. Oh, and then I'll just put... I guess I'll put these on there too. I don't know what they go to though. What do these go to? Don't you know. Anyway, I will be retiring this little guy. Um, definitely, I'm not going to sell it because it's it's <laughs> past its its selling its selling um, capacity. But I definitely want to keep it because I may I may decide to go back to it at some point. But anyway, so that is my my Gucci six ring key case that I purchased off of eBay. It was pre-loved and like I said I got a really really good deal on it. It's in really good um, condition. It looks like this one G is a little um, scraped up but that doesn't bother me because it's going to get it's going to be in and out of my purse in and out of my pocket. It's going to get scraped it's going to get scratched. So and I buy my things to use them, not to have them just sit around. Anyway, so whoop, let me take those off because probably got a glare. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed that little live unboxing and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.